We met this gentleman, Jerry, in the Badlands, and he's a cabinet maker by trade. Instead of converting his whole trailer, he bought a trailer and really tweaked it and made some upgrades. Some of them are easy enough that anyone could do, so we're going to tour his camper. Jerry Ryan from uh, Dolores, Colorado. So, this is a 21 Geo Pro. Had the bumper put on because there's no protection back here. Did that. Then, the first time we took the trailer out, we went down a muddy road and everything got caked with mud. So we took some just aluminum flashing that's put up on houses around the fascia and soffit. That stopped all the dirt there. I put mud flaps on. That stopped all the dirt from coming up on the sides. And then for extra extra protection for DMC, I put the C dot tape all over all over the whole trailer you can really see it it's a lot of people don't like these trailers because they think they're about cheaper so you basically upgraded everything that was already there yes i did not much re-strengthening but just making room they had all of this black cardboard stuff in there I took all that out to make more space put painted the ball white so you could see it when you're backing up then back here this also was all covered in with all that black stuff. And when I looked up and saw all the space up in here, I went inside and you'll see it when we go inside. There was a panel there. I knocked the panel out, dropped it into a shelf and it's storage. Mm. Just more space. Then these, all the Geo Pros come with this fold down stairs, which is to me, it's it's a nice thought. It's a good space saver. But, but every time you stop on the side of the road, you got you, the drops the mud in there and everything. Yep. So I just ordered this. Yep. Put that in. It's oh. done. This is Rick and Sharon, and this is my yes. wife Marcy and, and Hi, Yazzie. Marcy. Hi. <laughs> so this is going to be on YouTube, and okay. your puppy's going to be famous. So. This is the best thing I could have ever done was put the screen. Put the screen. Oh, I see your biker stuff. Okay, your dirt oh, biking. Oh, yeah, huh? my dirt bike stuff. That's you jumping, huh? Yeah, I'm familiar yeah, with this. Bit. It's a lot better quality screen than this. This is a have. great picture. Yes, that's over in Castle Valley, Utah. Yeah. Okay. So the reason I want to do this is because, like I said, a lot of people say their camp, the campers are cheap. So I want to see what upgrades you made. And is okay. it easy for anybody to do that? Or because you're a cabinet maker, right? Yeah. Some some one person came to me already, and I did this for him. This this was a door that opened up. And I took the door out, Better. full extension drawer slide, right. and I needed more room for knives, forks, and spoons, so I built this. It just slides out, and it goes around the sink. Right. That is so clever. I yeah. would never think of that. And I've had one person come over, and I, and I did that for them. You've got one little bulb here for all your light in the kitchen. I went to Walmart and bought LED strips. Sure, sure. This right here was just a flat shelf. This is flooring that I had left over. I, I rabbited out the back here, bent it, and put it on with hot glue. Put a shelf here too for stuff. TV mm. used to be up here and I took the TV down and put it down here. This is a bus that I built for a guy. That's the kind of interior work that I did, Rick. So when did you do this bus? Oh, that was 40 years ago. Well, they're and current Every cabinets. square inch of that bus is laminate. They did not want wood. You know how when you open up your cabinet, you got the style? Yeah. Well, I took the style yeah. off. Yeah. Door, everything's in clear plastic. Yeah. And every time we go out on a trip, I take everything out, sit it down, take a picture of it so I know where everything is. So These are just little you. baskets that I found. And I didn't want to screw into the wood, so I took aluminum, bent aluminum, Pop riveted it onto here, and this is just a little storage shelf. This with the lights. Oh, the dimmer. Put a real stat on it. Hey, nice. This is pretty nice, though. Every, everything is individually controlled. Yeah. Oh, that's that one good. nice thing that they did. So you could turn them all off. Yeah. I'll put the mirror in. I was going to say, that's and nice. And I had to put the mirror in at a little bit of an angle because when I put it in the first time, all you could see was the roof. This is a, uh, this, it fit exactly, exactly how we wanted it. We have, a, we have a second home here in Castle Valley, Utah. So you come down this road, you turn right here at the corner, and you go through through these two mesas over to Castle Valley. What is with this? This, comes this is the Murphy bed. comes right out, and the Murphy bed falls down. Same thing with the cabinets here. 
This is a put on the, uh, the 360, 180 degree hinges. So I used to open this, didn't like that. So we turned it out that way. The clothes bar, there was a steel bar up at the top and you had to take the hook and bend it in. I took that out, put in a regular bar so we could hang our clothes. So these are all just little tiny fixes. It yes, looks like just, your upgrades. Just easy, small fixes. I don't know if you notice this, but you see the little lights. We found those online, a little battery powered lights. I covered the top with a piece of Formica, changed the thermostat, put this up there. Um, this was solid. It was a solid oh. piece of wood. I just knocked it out and put a shelf down in here. And when we travel, all this gets put back in its bags and everything. This is one more thing that I think a lot of people could do. See this shower? This is an on and off valve. Yeah. When you have the shower head up here and you pause it, it still drips. You can still hear the motor going. Brrr, mm. brrr. I just put on an on and off valve. So how much do you think you put into upgrades? Cost-wise, yeah. I don't know, $500. Okay. And could people do this or do they need a lot of Well, tools? yeah, you can see how well this this is kind of kind of technical. you got to put supports in the back. you got to make yeah. sure it's squared because it's not square. It's not perfectly squared the way this, this is. This also was screwed in with four screws. I took the screws out, put a hinge on it, and I had all the space underneath here where the heater is. Hmm? That is so smart. Refrigerator, the only way you can shut the refrigerator off when it's not in use and you got it stored, you got to go all the way to the front tongue and turn the battery off. So I just put a switch right here. Right. The refrigerator on. It runs on 12 volt or? It's strictly 12 volt. It does not run off of power. A solar panel on the roof, all right. that's 180, I think, or something like that. And then right. we've got another one that that plugs into the side of the trailer that right. we put out. So you, why did you choose not to just do a whole conversion yourself? Why do you buy this? 77 years old I and see. it gets to the point to where this, this thing wasn't, I don't think it was that expensive. Uh, and I just decided it's, let's just do this. So Jerry, thank you so much for showing us some of the upgrades you did. I know you're a skilled craftsman, but some of these tweaks were actually easy that anyone could do. And they really do make a difference. So thank you so much for allowing us to tour your camper. That's a wrap, everyone. You know what to do if you like this video. You all come back now, you hear?